Welcome to Amp Test Tuesday. We're going to do something a little bit different this week. Basically, we got the shop radio, shop boom box. The speakers are taken off the sides of it because I've got the wires hooked up. And then I ran across and hooked up to the speakers in the shop. So basic shop system, ran by the boom box. I had this boom box for about five or six years, so I have no idea how much power it's supposed to put out. But you know me, I pulled it up. 50 watts per channel, 10% distortion. So I don't know about all that, but we'll throw it up on the dyno anyways. All right, so I dug a little bit deeper. If you look down just a little bit further, you can see 80 watts at under 1% distortion. So we can go ahead and run our certified test and if she does 80 watts then it's not too bad. Of course that's at a thousand hertz and we do have a track for that. We'll use track 9. Alright so as you can see in the manual it says 150 watts per channel 300 watts total but at 10 percent THD that's pretty big so that's sort of their way I guess of inflating the numbers without telling a fib so 10 percent distortion 300 watts I don't really know the back of this thing says 210 watts total power consumption. So let's see if this thing does 150 watts per channel. Let's see if it does 150 watts total. Let's see if it does 210 total. One or two. One or two, one or two. So it's way short of the 150 watts times 2, but it doesn't matter. If you look deep enough in the specs, you can see that it's 80 watts times 2, and that's at 6 ohms. We dropped it down to 4 ohms, and it did well above what it was supposed to do. I would say that probably if I had a 6 ohm load to put on it, it would be almost exactly where it should be. Of course, when I bought this thing, there was no such thing as an amp dyno, so I didn't save the box. But more than likely, the box said 300 watts on the side of it. So we know that's bullshit, but still... In the book it says 80 watts and it more than did that. So in my opinion, this thing does pass.